Beneath their notoriously prickly exterior, cacti are an archaic collective of plants, and although the exact date of when cacti sprouted will probably never be known, it is estimated that they emerged during the Cretaceous period, up to 110 million years ago. The word cactus is commonly believed to have derived from the Greek word kaktos, a term used by the philosopher Theothrastus to describe a prickly plant. Some cacti can live up to 200 years despite harsh desert conditions, so surely they can survive a few years in your household too. Cactus spines are not thorns, they are highly modified leaves. But yes, even cactus caretakers have been known to call them thorns once in a while. According to D. Gledhill's The Name of Plants, this plant is an unknown specimen from the old world. However, other sources have suggested that the spiky character in question could have been an artichoke or cardon, also known as the artichoke thistle. Cacti have been recorded to grow to a knee-buckling height of 23.8 metres. That's the same as five and a half double-decker buses stacked on top of each other. Pachycerus Pringley, also known as the Mexican Cardon, took the top spot for the tallest cacti in 1986 after it blew over during the storm. Due to their inhabitancy of dry, arid environments, cacti have cleverly adapted a way of producing food which limits the amount of water they lose in the process. Unlike other plants which absorb carbon dioxide through their pores during the day and use light energy to convert it into food, cacti collect CO2 at night when the temperature is lower to minimise water loss. For centuries, the fruit, cladodes and flowers of cacti have been used to heal wounds and cure diseases. Used in traditional medicines, cacti have been linked to treatments for ulcers, glaucoma, liver diseases, wounds and fatigue. Finally, some types of cacti can survive one or two years without water. That's because almost all cacti are succulents that adapted fleshy leaves, roots or stems for water storage. So they can surely tolerate your infrequent watering schedule too, don't you think? <laughs>